This example shows how C++20 concepts let you express requirements in code, catching mistakes at compile time with clear intent. We define a hashable concept that says for a type T, we must be able to call std hash and get something convertible to std size T. And the type must be std equality comparable. In other words, a hashable type can be hashed and compared for equality, exactly what unordered map needs for its keys. We then use that concept to constrain a template, print map, which only accepts an std unordered map with k and v where k satisfies hashable. The benefit is twofold. Your API documents itself. I require a hashable key and misuse produces precise compile time errors instead of cryptic template explosions. In test hashable concept, string works because the standard library already provides a standard hash with string and operator of uh, comparison. But point has neither. So attempting to make an SD unordered map from point to int would fail at compile time as shown in the commented line. To make it pass, you would define bool operator for the comparison with a reference to point A and a reference to another point, right? And then we would have to specialize SD hash of the point, right? So concepts make constraints explicit errors earlier and templates far easier for use and maintenance.